Bill Gates, a journey from passion to inspiration. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Let us get into the success story of Bill Gates. Bill Gates, the chairman of the world's largest software company Microsoft, is laying down office on June 27, 2008, as full-time chairman of Microsoft Corporation to require up a full-time generous role within the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. It was a momentous occasion. Not often one comes across a situation where a particularly successful and active CEO walks out of the first function of heading an organization to pursue one's inter. Early Life and Education On October 28, 1955, Bill Gates was born, William Henry Bill Gates. He and his two siblings, sisters, matured in Seattle, Washington. From 1967 to 1973, Bill Gates went to a lakeside prep school. It was during springtime in 1968 at the Lakeside Prep School when Bill Gates used a computer for the first time. He, Paul Allen, and many other students became Microsoft coders and came into the habit of using computers. They used to spend all day, all night on computers writing programs and reading all the material that they could their hands on. They wanted their new computers to show their skills to the real world. They got a chance with a Computer Center Corporation and struck a deal with them. In exchange for unlimited time with a computer, he and his friends searched a computer for bugs and weaknesses in the system. In 1973, Bill Gates enrolled at Harvard University, where he spent his time with Paul Allen. He and Paul Allen worked on the version of the programming language that was the basis for MIT Solitaire, the first microcomputer available. He didn't go on just to graduate from Harvard University as he dropped in his junior year to start what was to be the biggest computer software company in the world, Microsoft Corporation. Bill Gates and Paul Allen's Partnership On April 4, 1975, Bill Gates and Paul Allen formed a partnership named Microsoft. Microsoft was set soon after the introduction of the micro-instrumental MIT Altair, the first personal computer a build-it-yourself kit for hobbyists. Bill Gates and Paul Allen saw this chance to transform this early PC into a breakthrough. The Altair required a software programming language that can make it do useful computing tasks. That is where it all began. Over the years, the PC has changed from a hobbyist toy to a key that continues to change the world. It has altered dramatically how we deal with information, how we communicate, and how we work, play, and learn new things. On 1st January 1979, Microsoft moved its headquarters to Bellevue, Washington. Microsoft became a freelancer of MIT in late 1976 and is continuing to develop programming language code for varied systems. The corporation moved from Metropolis to its new range at Bellevue, Washington on January 1st, 1979. Throughout Microsoft's early years, all staff had broad responsibility for the company's business. Gates oversaw the business details, however, continuing to jot down code likewise. In his initial fine years, he in person reviewed each line of code that the corporation shipped and infrequently rewrote components of it, as he says work. In 1980, Microsoft partnered with IBM to jot down basics for the IBM computer. In 1980, IBM approached Microsoft to jot down the essential interpreter for its approaching notebook computer, the IBM computer. Gates planned the treatment of an 86 DOS and software system, almost like the one Tim Patterson of Urban Center Computing Merchandise, SCP, had made hardware similar to the PC. On June 25, 1981, Microsoft became incorporated and Bill Gates became president and chairman of the board, and Paul Allen became executive vice president. On 1st of January 1994, Bill Gates got married to Melinda French. They now have three children. On 18th of May 1998, United States vs. Microsoft trial. The United States filed a civil complaint alleging that Microsoft had engaged in anti-competitive conduct in violation of the Sherman Act. The plaintiff alleged that Microsoft abused monopoly power on Intel-based computers in its holding of operating system and web browser sales. Microsoft continued to compete with IBM on OS2 or OS till 1991. Result of Persistence and Determination 
Windows might not be the dominant OS forever. Its creator Gates might not even spend time worrying about the longer-term releases of this product. Yet the person who created the merchandise Windows, the corporate Microsoft, and therefore the PC industry, created by Gates and Microsoft, will leave an indelible footprint within the history of computing. By strategically morphing from packaged mobile to a super-efficient altruist, Gate, he is the founder and chairman of many corporations, together with Mount, Cascade Investment, BGC3, and Terra Power, and living a life on his own terms. He has given sizable amounts of money to varied charitable organizations and scientific research programs through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, according to be the world's largest non-public charity. His hard work and determination pushed him to reach his dream destination. He is an inspiration for us all and motivates us to focus on our goals with determination and persistence to achieve our aims and our dream destination. This was exciting to show your support. Do like and share the videos with your friends and enjoy a group experience. To keep yourself updated, just subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and get notifications on the latest updates.